Okay, just wait a little longer, sweetheart. Just a few more seconds. I need to get this painting straight first. Everything needs to be perfect for when I take your blindfold off. The painting happens to be of you, coincidentally. That's not what coincidentally means, but okay. Anyway, that looks straight to me. Alright then. Let me just take off my Hans blindfold and... Ta-da! Welcome to our home. I suppose it's finally time for introductions. I'm Louis, the Lamia. And I'm Annie, the Ragnit. Louis here is my roommate and my best friend since... Uh, since we hatched, almost. We've done so many things together, like swimming for the first time. Or hunting. Or playing instruments or kidnapping you like this oh yeah that's what we did here is that about that hun we meant to do things the right way this isn't the right way yeah what do you call it when you like don't kidnap someone dating yeah <laughs> um dating we meant to you know Ask you to date the both of us, and then you just come here on your own, but, um, uh... But we didn't. Yeah, yeah, but we didn't. <laughs> but we're very sorry about that, hon. We are. Lucy, tell our love here how sorry we are. <laughs> from the bottom of our hearts. See? You heard it straight from Louis, and he usually never apologizes for anything rude and he usually never apologizes for anything so you know it's sincere <laughs> truly but we think you'll like it here you can just live with us we'll take care of everything i can make your meals lewis can clean the toilet and i can clean your room lewis can clean the toilet hey who died and made you king we take turns like always regrettably but, anyway, sweetheart, the point I'm trying to make to you is that you'll be happy here with us. Louis and I will be great partners with you. Especially me. Right, especially- hey, wait! <laughs> hey, all I'm trying to say is that my tail is seven meters long, so I've got more to cuddle them with. If I understood metric, I'd be highly offended. And I'm not so sure you'll outshine me, Louis. After all, I got really pretty eyes, and there's eight of them. Wow, eight eyes and none of them can see how you're outclassed. You're lucky we're friends. <laughs> Please, if you weren't my dearest friend, you'd be rotting six feet under the ground like all those, how shall I say, competitors? Well, that means a lot to me, Louis. <laughs> and I spare you. No, that you used Imperial for me. <laughs> this is true friendship. <laughs> Wonderful. By the way, hun, human, what type of food do you like? Donuts? Fries? Chicken legs? Oh, speaking of legs, that reminds me. Are you a leg kind of person? Because, you know, I have eight of them. So I was kind of hoping that that was your thing. <laughs> and if you know, if you're not a leg person, there's always me. No legs here. Yeah, and if you're not, I'd really give Louis a leg up. Don't patronize me, Annie. Tough crowd. <laughs> you know, my love, Annie and I were watching you for a long time. Oh, but don't worry. We gave you some privacy, like we always close our eyes when you're changing. Isn't that right, Louis? 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 Louis! Reluctantly, but yes, that's correct. Anyways, as I was saying, my love... We've been watching you for a very long time, and during that time we noticed you don't really take proper care of your own defense. You don't have any bodyguards or attack dots or anything like that. And that's why it was so easy to kidnap you. It was. And so, the point Louis is trying to make here is that now you have the two of us to protect you. Isn't that great? <laughs> we can protect you from crooks, other men, thieves, assassins, arsonists, and... Other men? Did he mention other men? <laughs> you know, I'm not sure that I did. 
You're really fortunate to have Lewis to protect you, by the way. He's super capable when it comes to violence. You should see what he did to the last boy who acted as a love rival. <laughs> Not after you've eaten, though. You might throw up. Isn't he such a charmer, hun? I wish I knew violence as much as he did, but I'm much more of a strongly worded letter kind of girl. I keep on telling them that you have to lace the letters with dangerous chemicals to get the recipients out the way. But we all have our own pace in life. Yeah, they'll get the hang of it eventually. Fingers crossed. Oh, speaking of fingers, we got you a gift. Hold on, I think it was here somewhere. Annie, where did I put it again? Um, I think it's in your knife collection. N no, no, your your other knife collection. Yeah, there you go. Uh, here you go. Mm, hun, it's a pair of gloves. One of them has my name on it, and the other has Annie's. To remind you of who your partners are. And it's us. And we made it ourselves. They have some of my silk on them, so when you'll wear them, it's like a part of me will always be with you. It's romantic, but also kind of redundant. Since we're both gonna always be with you, no matter what tries to pry us from you, whether it be love rivals or authorities. Nor bathroom breaks. Um, okay, you can at least go to the bathroom alone. Aww. Please take the gloves with you. I don't want to be apart. Annie, don't be unreasonable. Uh, all right. Just take the one with my name on it then. <laughs> well, screw you too then, ain't Annie. Oh, I almost forgot. My sweetheart, my beloved, my precious cinnamon bun. Now I'm hungry. Uh, how are you finding the temperature? Lewis always has the heat up being cold-blooded and all, but if it's too hot for you, we can turn it down and Lewis can just deal with it. I don't remember that, Annie. She's right, though. If it's too hot for you, we can turn the temperature down and I'll just suffer. But I'd suffer anything for you. Well, mostly anything. I never allow myself to be suffering the pain of leaving you. And anyway, about the temperature, if it gets too cold for me... You can always just share your body heat with me. I can wrap my tail around you, coiling you up. It <laughs> can be a nice snug in my embrace. Annie can just spin us a blanket or something. Or maybe not. The store had this really comfy looking one I was thinking of buying. It's pretty expensive though. Well, it's free if you steal it. That's true, it's very true. <laughs> Just like it was free for you to steal our hearts, <laughs> my love. And if it costed money somehow, then we appreciate the investment. So, about the temperature, darling, are you um, are you comfortable? Okay, okay, just let either of us know if anything isn't to your liking. If there's anything we can do for you, I, we absolutely will. Other than let you go. Uh, well, yeah, duh. That goes without saying. But you'd never want to leave us, right? You've got everything you need right here. Food, safety, love. And two cuddle buddies. <laughs> yeah, and one cute boy. I'm going to pretend that I didn't hear that. <laughs> no, is there anything you need, my beloved? Sure, we can order takeout. Honestly, I'd rather cook for you though but if you really want it then yeah we can get takeout did you have a place in mind okay that works let me look up the menu on my phone real quick by the way if you're thinking of ordering any soda from the place then it's probably better just to ask me we have a bunch of different ones in the fridge and if you'd like your drink even colder just let me know like put it in the freezer for a bit but i kill anything for you. I mean, chill. Well, kill, too, obviously. But that's not really relevant to your beverages right now. No, hey, they have beef cow. What a redundant aim. We get the point. Huh? They got warm mane? I don't know what it is. 
is, but its violent name speaks to me. I'm gonna get that. You can have some too if you want. Uh, by the way, hon, if it sucks, we can just make Annie finish it. Oh, you want to get fortune cookies? They're complimentary. That's great to hear. You know, my love, I've really got a soft spot for fortune cookies. You see, yesterday I ate one. It was a uh, leftover for a while ago. Not like a month ago, just a few days. I'm not that weird, I promise. Anyway, the fortune said, uh, tomorrow is going to be a good day. And so, when I woke up, I got out of bed, I brushed my teeth, I took a shower, and then I broke into your home and kidnapped you. So, the fortune was right. It really is a good day. I've got my sweetheart human, I've got Lewis here with me. <laughs> and soon, I'll even have my fortune cookies. Today, life is good, you know? With the two of you here, I'm sure all the days after today will be good as well. <laughs> I still haven't forgotten about the temperature thing. Hey guys, Sue so here. Hope you guys had an amazing New Year's. Um, just want to thank you guys for all the support you guys have given me this year. And it's, it's, been, it's been amazing. You guys are great. But as always, um, big thanks to the scriptwriter and to my lovely friend Vixen. They just hit a hundred subscribers, so let's go show them some love, please. Um, they have an amazing voice. They they did amazing on this audio with me. Once again, thank you to them and thank you to you guys for showing so much support. But as always, if you're listening to this as you're about to fall asleep, be sure to hope you have an amazing sleep tonight, and you have a great day tomorrow. And as always, bye bye.